Hi everyone, welcome to another weekly vlog. It's Monday today, it's Bank Holiday Monday and I just wanted to say a quick thank you for all your lovely comments from last week's vlog. Um, I was really feeling sorry for myself, quite negative, not very motivated etc etc because of the painkillers that I was on but now I'm off of those. I've had a word with myself and you know I was kind of thinking to myself come on Emma you're a healer you know I really believe that we all have the ability to heal ourselves and I need to use the things that I know that I've learned that I know are good for me to help myself along the way don't get me wrong I still need some help I do still need the doctor and the pain and some painkillers and I've also made an appointment with an osteopath um, but that's not until like next week so I'll speak to the doctor on Wednesday and see what she has to say but also having spoke some, spoken to some of my friends and also a couple of people on here have given me some ideas so thank you so much I've started to try and do a little bit more exercise and Sue suggested because her husband um, suffers a long term I think she said with I think it's his back and he finds cycling helpful and lots of exercising and actually I've got an exercise bike downstairs so I got on that yesterday literally for about two minutes and I was like a 90 year old I was going so slowly well 90 year old could probably go quicker than me to be honest but I did that yesterday I've done it again this morning and I feel like it's going to help I can't explain it. You know when you just know instinctively when something's good for you. So I'm going to try that a couple of times a day. I'm going to carry on with my walking, which I'm doing well on the flat. I'm really concentrating as well on um, deep breathing exercises and some meditation as well to really relax me, which again is really helping. And I, you know, I'm going to ask for healing for myself. So. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. Anyway, I'm feeling much more positive. Of course, I will be trying to eat healthily as well. And I feel like I'm getting on quite well with intuitive eating. I felt like last week, when I was feeling quite sort of poorly and low and everything, I listened to my body and my mind and I ate what I felt I needed in the moment. And Sometimes it was some a quite healthy meal and other times it was biscuits, for example. But because I'm not on like a diet at the moment, when I had the biscuits, I didn't have that whole kind of guilty feeling of being off plan and then blow it for a few. I had the biscuits, I listened to my body, I thought that evening I didn't need much for my dinner. So I just had like a, I think I had a piece of toast or something. And then the next day I had a healthy breakfast. So I really feel like I'm getting out of this circle of kind of on plan, off plan and feeling guilty and, and all this kind of thing. So for me, this is a massive thing and, and a quite a big breakthrough actually. So I'm really happy about that. I have got my weigh in this week because I'm weighing myself once a month. So I would do that on, I think the 1st of September's Thursday, isn't it? So I'll probably do that as a separate little vlog and upload that on Thursday. So you'll, by the time you're watching this, you'll probably have already seen my way in. Um, I've got lots of things on this week, so I'll take you along with us. And of course, I will show you what I'm eating as well. And I hope everyone else is doing well, whatever plan you're following or diet you're following. Or if maybe you're not following a diet, then I hope you're enjoying what you're eating. And yeah, I'll show you my food this week and what I get up to. Monday morning breakfast is one of these thins with boiled egg, a bit of salad cream, rocket, cucumber, lots of different fruits and a few pumpkin seeds. Just got a little home bargains haul here. So we got some new pens. Not very exciting, but needs to be done got some flaked almonds because the gusto meals quite often come with a few flaked almonds and 
it just gives a lovely crunch to things and we had on the other day I think it was couscous and it had some flaked almonds in it and they it was really nice so I've got those very good healthy fats I'd run out of balsamic vinegar so I just picked up some more and the same with some gravy granules I've not tried these before these are salted caramel iced lattes which look divine so I'll give them a go just got some a uh, sea salt grinder I haven't tried these either I don't think these are the vanilla lattes and I'm going to keep these for when we go out and about so I'll just um when we take our flasks out I shall treat myself sometimes to one of those got some salt and vinegar pom bears I normally just get the plain ones but you don't often see these and I really like them so I've got some of those stocked up on highlights um i was going to try like non-diet hot chocolate but actually i really like this so i'm just going to stick with it and i was going to get the full fat seriously spreadable but they didn't have any they only had a chili one which is too hot for me and i think one that had caramelized onion which i didn't fancy so i just got the lighter one and then lastly, I just got some of these snack packs of sweet and salty popcorn. They're really handy to have in for a little snack. So this is the last HelloFresh meal that we've got. It's crispy cauliflower and then there's like a butter bean and courgette sort of tomatoey stew thing. I did a few potatoes to go with it because, well, I just felt like it. Um, and there's some sour cream over the top, so see what see what this is like. We are on the big wheel. <laughs> Do you like it? Oh yes. <laughs> it's a bit scary. It's really high. It's amazing views though. Right, I'm gonna flip you around and show you. time on the wheel brilliant atmosphere in Torquay there was live music pirates loads of people sunshine absolutely brilliant when the wheel leaves Torquay in the winter it actually goes to Hyde Park to the like Christmas wonderland thing in London so I'm really glad we went on it for tonight's dinner I've got some oat cakes which I've spread with some of these uh, whatever it was called cheese that I got from home bargains I've got some hummus, cucumber, apple, cherry tomatoes and carrots. It's Tuesday morning, although I keep thinking it's Monday because it was bank holiday yesterday. It seemed like Sunday, so I'm going to I know I'm going to be confused all week this week. But anyway, it's Tuesday. It's pretty windy, but it's looking like it's going to be a nice day. So we're going to make the most of it and head on out to a place called Buckfast Abbey, have a walk, have a look round, got a picnic lunch ready, which I'll show you. And then we're gonna to go to a place called Ditsum this afternoon to meet up with my mum and Ziggy the dog, have a little walk, have a cup of tea, lovely day. I've got Gusto being delivered today and I've also got some parcels to wrap up and send out. So yeah, pretty busy day, but nice one, hopefully. And yeah, the weather, still sunny, loving it. Breakfast is crumpet, peanut butter, seeds and fruit. This is what I'm gonna take for my lunch today. So I've got some grapes, got one of these little Mediterranean inspired vegetable frittata, which I just did have a look at, looks all right to me. I don't know if it'll be really tasty or not. It's from Aldi. So I've got that and then I've got a big salad of rocket, pepper, tomato, carrot and a bit of hummus. And then this afternoon we're meeting up with my mum so 
I made some flapjacks yesterday. They've got pumpkin seeds, flaked almonds and raisins in them. So we'll take those to share and maybe have one of these iced coffees or one of the other coffees that I got from Home Bargains. And also I've got some tea and hot chocolate and stuff like that as well. So yeah, nice picnic ready to go out today. We are in the woods doing a walk. It is absolutely gorgeous. After our walk, we went to a place called Buckfast Abbey, which is so peaceful and tranquil. We sat and had our lunch and just had a wander around the grounds. We've just had our lunch and now we're just testing. We actually brought some ice with us in our little food flask. We're just testing out these iced coffees that we got in Home Bargains and they're really nice aren't they? Mm. Mm, I think it was salted caramel. Yummy. Nice little treat. And then we met up with my mum and Ziggy. We sat by the river and had a lovely chat. Yippee! Look what has arrived. My favourite gusto. I can't really remember what I ordered this time. Um, but I'll open it all and then I will show you throughout the week which meals we have. Yeah, these are the ones we've ordered this week. I cannot wait. All look divine. And all the cards and all the ingredients are here. So yeah, I will show you when I cook them at lunch times this week. For dinner today I've got some sourdough toast with marmite on one piece and cheese and cucumber on the other. I've got crisps, corn on the cob and broccoli. Hi everyone, it's Wednesday today and I'm actually not going to do much vlogging. I'll just show you what I'm eating um, because I'm just working today so it's not particularly interesting. Um, I was just thinking though that I've started again doing like my meditation and all this kind of thing, which I'd stopped doing partly because I kind of used to do it during yoga. Like when I was doing yoga lessons, um, we did a lot of breathing, we did a lot of relaxation, we did like meditations at the end and stuff. So I kind of stopped doing my own ones and I've started again and I've forgotten how helpful, how useful they are. I'm, I started doing it really to help my the pain in my back and my side to kind of relax me but it's made me remember when I used to do it you know it is very healing and, it, and I do think it can help with the weight loss journey as well so um, I just thought I'd share a couple of things with you that I like doing. I've been doing, in the morning, I've been doing a little meditation just from a YouTube video. It's 10 minutes. I'll put the channel on the screen now. And I think they post one every morning, but there's hundreds and hundreds of them. So just find one, you know, that you like. I think you can get apps as well, or some people can just sit you know, in silence or maybe music or a walking meditation, whatever, you know, just try different things out. One thing I have realised over the time of doing all this stuff is it you don't have to do it perfectly. You know, I was doing the meditation this morning and I slightly forgot I was doing it at one point, opened my eyes and had a bit of my tea. Who cares? You know, it doesn't matter. Just, you know, do what you can. And I think the whole notion of that you have to be you know perfectly dressed in like yoga clothes sitting in lotus position in a lovely field you know like this serene and it's it's really not like that it's not about that um but when i first started of course i wanted to do it perfectly and you know anyway um the other thing i've been doing as well as my little bit of cycling which is really helping is i've been um trying to go back to I can't do like my full yoga but I've been trying to do these um they're called mudras they're like hand movements and I've just kind of been remembering some of the stuff that I learned that like these sort of ones are for keeping the energy within so even if you're sitting like this 
obviously with your hands down, but I'm just showing you, you know, if you want to gain energy, hands open. If you want to keep the energy within, then form a circle somehow. Just little things like that. that have been really helping me throughout the day. Just kind of tune into my body, what I need in that moment. And the other thing, I do like listening to different songs, not just songs, but like I like chanting, I like um, mantras, I like hymns, I like kind of spiritual songs, singing bowls, um, yeah, loads of different things. But again, I thought I'd just share a couple of them that I really like and I find them really relaxing but also uplifting and quite healing and I've been around sort of five o'clock in the afternoon half five which is a time when I can get a little bit sort of nibbly um, I've been sitting and doing that instead so I like Tim Wheater I like um, Xavier Rudd Paul Isaac there's a song called I Am The Light Of My Soul. Again, these are all on YouTube, just look them up, which is so, it's so good to listen to that and, you know, for self-esteem and self-love and all that kind of thing. I like um, Tina Turner does a lovely, um, I can't remember what it's called. I'll put it on the screen, but she sings uh, with children and they sing the um, the universal sound Om, Om Shanti and all this kind of thing. And that's amazing. There's so many things on YouTube. And, you know, I've um, got other friends who've shown me other um, songs and all sorts of stuff. But just find whatever you like. I'm always finding new things as well. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's good. I like that one. I listened to one yesterday that was um, just some simple chanting and that was absolutely amazing. So yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, won't hear much else from me today. I've already had my breakfast. I had one of those thins with boiled egg and some salad and some fruit. We're going to have gusto for lunch, which I'll show you. And I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner. Probably similar to what I had yesterday, actually. So like toast and broccoli and sweet corn or something like that and we're off out again tomorrow so I will vlog more tomorrow and I will see you all then. Here is today's gusto meal we've got spicy chicken with herbed bulgur and warm harissa dressing and it looks so yummy and very healthy I can't wait to try this. For an afternoon snack I had a latte and one of the flapjacks that I made the other day, very yummy. And then for dinner, I had basically the same as I had the night before. So it was wholemeal sourdough toast, lots of veggies and a bit of cheese on one of them and Marmite on the other. Morning everyone, it's Thursday, is it Thursday? Yes, it's Thursday today. And I just want, I haven't even got dressed yet. I just wanted to quickly say thank you so much for all the comments from my weigh-in vlog yesterday which if you haven't watched it's up on my channel and I talked about my how I've got on this month with the intuitive eating and half well a, a part way through the video my doctor called and to talk about my scan CT scan results and one of the things that it was absolutely fine the scan apart from and apparently it's really common you can, and she sent me a load of information about it, which is why I'm talking about it now, because I've just been reading it all. Um, these diverticular that you can get in your intestine. And apparently in the Western world now, it's really common because we don't eat enough fibre. And you don't normally get any symptoms. If you do get symptoms from them, it's called diverticulitis. And my doctor thought perhaps, because I've got three of these apparently in my intestine, that perhaps that was causing my pain. But I've read up on it all and it doesn't seem, the symptoms that you get from it don't fit with my symptoms. So I'm not convinced about that. And I also went back and checked my, when I used to do calorie counting, I'd type everything into a, an app called NutriCheck. And as well as the calories, it it calculates like your protein and your sugar and 
carbohydrate and also fiber and so I looked back and you know I'm having most days between I would say 40 30 and 50 grams of fiber um, most days and then occasionally it would be 25 24 22 something like that so the recommended amount is 30 grams per day or 30 to 35 grams a day so I, I don't really think I can increase my fiber much more I think I'm going to go back to having oats and um, I might even get some like bran all bran or whatever it's called or Weetabix maybe again um, and start trying to definitely you know make sure I start the day off with something high in fiber because oats are really good Martin bought some brown flakes the other day so this morning I'll put it on the screen I had um, overnight oats which I made yesterday with chia seeds pumpkin seeds almond milk what else peanut butter and then I had loads of fruit on the top of it, which again is lots of fibre and some of Martin's brown flakes and a bit of extra seeds, which is also fibre. So um, I'm not, I don't think that's what it is. So I will go and see this osteopath next week and see if they can shed any light on it. And then I'll speak to my doctor again. We're going to speak when I get back from my dad's and yeah, see how it goes. I'm still doing the cycling and that's really helping. So I don't know if it is getting slightly better anyway. But um, yeah, I, I just want to get a lid on this and get better. But anyway, thank you so much for the comments and, um, and all your support about the house and everything else. I really, really appreciate it. And I will reply to them all, but we're off out today. It's, it's looking pretty cloudy, but I think it's going to be dry. We're going to do a walk from Totnes to Dartington, which I probably won't vlog because it, there's a possibility of rain. Um, and then we're going to go to Morrison's for lunch, which I will vlog. And then we're going to meet my mum and oops, sorry, the little dog Ziggy this afternoon and walk along by the river. So I'll do a bit of vlogging then. We just finished our walk. It was really good actually. Um, we had a coffee at the other end and walked back again. It's taken a couple of hours. It's half twelve now. So we're going to go and have some lunch in Morrison's. That was a really yummy lunch. It's such a bargain as well in Morrison's. I don't think you could cook it for the price that they're charging, to be honest. Anyway, um, we're by the river at Totnes now, just waiting for my mum and Ziggy. And then we're going to go for a little walk along the river and then sit and have a cup of tea. We've got the flasks with us. Obviously. And it was a puppy. Really, they know when they're puppies. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah, it's a baby. You like, you like baby. Today I've got um, some overnight oats again. I actually made a big batch of overnight oats so that I don't have to make it every single morning. And I did enough for like three days. And then after that I'm going to do the same with porridge, I think. So I've got that with a few brown flakes, lots of fruit and some seeds. Hi, it's Friday morning. I've just had a shower. And today, um, as you've seen my breakfast, did my meditation and everything this morning, which I'm loving. Um, didn't go for a walk because it's it's really dark. It's got ever so dark, hasn't it, in the mornings? Obviously, it's September now, autumn. And so we're going to go for a walk later. So I'm today I've just got bits and bobs to do. I've got to phone my new estate agent, who is so far not performing the miracles that they promised me. So I need to give them a ring. I need to do some jobs that I've been putting off, like tidying out the Tupperware cupboard, I suppose everyone is the same you start off with it all neatly piled up and all the lids matching and it ends up like looking like a bomb's gone off in there so I need to do that um as well I've got some work to do 
like I say, do a walk. Yeah, and just, I've got a gusto to cook at um, lunchtime. And then I'm probably going to have some soup this evening. I really fancied a cheese scone. So I saw some in Morrison's yesterday, so I got them. So I'm probably going to have a soup and a cheese scone for my dinner tonight. Um, yeah, September. Do you like autumn? I love autumn, actually. Even though I'm a sun kind of a girl, I love it. And it's not the heat necessarily that I love, it's the light. That's what I absolutely love. So I'm quite happy in, even in the winter if it's really cold, as long as it's light. I like kind of blue skies and, and to see the sun. Today is not one of those days. It's a day where the sea, which I can see, is grey, sort of whitey grey. And then I can just about see the horizon and then the sky's grey. So this is the kind of day that I have to really have a word with myself about and say no come on you know don't get down in the dumps my nan was really like sensitive to the the weather and the dark she she really didn't like it at all especially as she got older so I'm aware that that's kind of in me as it were and I, and I need to make sure I get out and about and get you know get on and do things so that's my plan for today Hope everybody's well and um, yeah, I'll show you a few things that I'm doing and of course what I'm eating. So these were all my Tupperwares just in such a mess in the cupboard. So I've got them all out and I'm just going to sort them out into the box that they are supposed to be kept in. Um, I'm not sure how long it will last but they all look very neat and tidy for now. Here is today's gusto meal. We've got spiced lamb sausage roll, veg chips, which is potato and carrot chips, and paprika mayo, and it smells divine. I'm not a pastry chef, but I think these have turned out pretty well. I'm really looking forward to this. Dinner tonight's carrot soup, a cheese scone, and some broccoli. Hi everyone, it's Saturday morning and I'm actually going to finish the vlog here because I'm off into town to see a friend and it's really long already this this vlog so I'll finish it here. Um, I'm going to do another little vlog over the weekend so I'll upload this one today and then I'll, there'll be another one tomorrow on Sunday hopefully and um, yeah thank you so much for watching and for always for all your comments and support it means such a lot messages and everything. Have a good weekend, everyone, and I'll see you all next weekend. Bye.